Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Benson, a first year MSc master's student studying at National University of Singapore. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what a master's student usually do on a daily basis. Let's go! Hey guys, it's heavily rainy out there. Let's see. Smoggy. Near the beginning of the class, it's still rainy, but I convinced myself to leave my sweet home and head over to school. I had this Hainan chicken rice right under my apartment. Because I live off campus, so I always prepare one hour for commute. And the delicious meal reminded me of the welfare for postgraduate students that we only have classes in the afternoon and evening, so we don't have to get up early and rush to school. Uh, just finished the lunch, but if everything goes right, I will be late for class, but it's okay. Professor doesn't care that much. Here comes my bus. I prepare my Apple Watch, scan on the card reader, and go to school. Hey guys, it shouldn't be like this. This class is called Atomistic Modeling of Molecules and Materials. If you have no idea what it's about, it's totally fine. Basically, it teaches you how to simulate the real-life molecules and materials behavior by using HPC, which is high-performance supercomputer, like the one you've already seen in high school textbook, but not exactly the one that people use to do Bitcoin mining nowadays. The one that we use is more universal. Because I'm currently having a materials calculation project, and my supervisor is from A star, so it's not easy to learn from him face to face. And that's why I'm consulting the professor of this module. Hey guys, just finished the tutorial, and I'm currently heading to the School of Science, where my next lecture will be held, and see you there. Then I walk to the nearest bus station of School of Engineering, which is actually not near at all. So usually I will leave the class 15 minutes earlier to make sure I can catch up with my next one. Because Engineering School and Science School are on the diagonal of the main campus, so the only way to get there on time is to take the school bus. I will take the school bus from IT to S17, and I suddenly realized that this is not diagonal. Sorry, guys. This class is called Quantum Control Technology and is assessed by projects. The interesting thing is, we have two of them. This professor is one of the best professors that I have ever met in my whole life because he never evaluates the experiments by results. What he really wants from us is whether we learn from it or not. So this is why he encourages us to try and to get inspired. After the class, we we'll talk about one of our projects, which is by using nuclear magnetic resonance to control the spins in solid chips. The most basic and important part is the magnet like we do everything from scratch. First, we need to make a U-shaped steel core, then build two plastic holders for holding the core. After that, several loops of coils will be wrapped around the plastic holder to generate magnetic field. After the discussion, we headed down to the CQT workshop to do some work on making the plastic holders. We try to find the edges of those four smaller plates to fit in the bigger one. After that, we are so honored for having this professional gentleman for gluing the structure by using acrylic acid. And then the professor taught us how to use this automatic lath to wrap the coils around the plastic holder.
Looking at myself in camera, I just noticed that I really like wiggling my arms. And now it's his turn. Then we left the security and headed for the dinner. During the dinner, we talked about our another project, which is to use the computer for calculating the band gap of some combinations of hitter by layer 2D materials. And it's like we are stepping on some fields that are way beyond our level. Then we talked about some interesting concepts in physics, like the relationship between theoretical, calculational, and experimental. And we ended up realizing that he's really a theoretical physicist, while I am a practical materials newbie. Hi hey guys, just finished dinner with one of my friends and I'm taking subway home because the school of, school of science is really near to the subway so actually every morning I take subway home um, So, catch you guys later Right on my way home, I came across this very first awkward situation Hey guys, just got back from school. Today is really busy as you can see. Actually, Monday is always the busiest day in a total week because I have one lecture and two tutorials. But for the rest of the week, it's like a rest. Actually, professor had asked us to put all of the things and document every step that we made, every progress that we made on the media wiki, which is different than Wikipedia because like Wikipedia, you can access access it like it's public but media wiki is like a private wikipedia that we can put all the things on it and it looks exactly like wikipedia but you just can't access it uh, if i give you the title of our project you can find it on google or on other search engine i don't know but luckily we have made some progress in our project as we finished the uh, holding plastic for the magnetic and tomorrow We'll be wrapping some coils around those plastic holders and uh, use the laser cutter to cut uh, the mag magnetic shape from the steel plate. And the objective for this project is to try to use this magnet, hopefully can generate half of test between those two poles, to control the spins in those solids and to see if it works. I'm currently having three projects and two quizzes in this week. It's like near the final everything just piling up like you have so many things to do you have so many tasks to complete that you don't have extra time to do anything else it's 1 23 in the morning god i'm so tired i'm going to sleep catch you guys tomorrow hey guys it's eight o'clock in the morning uh last night i slept at 3 a.m so i'm really tired now but uh, i still have to get some work done right? I got downstairs to buy myself some breakfast and watched Money Heist on Netflix. Actually, I'm not a big fan of this drama, but I really couldn't find any other interesting one. After that, I did some housekeeping and made myself a cup of tea. When everything was all settled, I started studying this 6000 module called Defects and Dislocations in Solids. It's not like the one we usually observe on wood table. We are talking about the microscopic world now. Everything is so tricky and hard to possess, just like quantum. Hey guys, I've been studying for three hours. It's not too long, but I just finished all of the study that I have to do. Actually, I have to head over to school now because I have to continue working on my projects. 
And this is the end of this video. If you guys want to watch the following episode, just follow my channel. I will keep updating everything on it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in my next one. Peace.